Hello everyone, it's Nadia. Welcome back to Fake Ass, the series where I review the fake up to the makeup that you love. And today we'll be testing out these fake ass Lime Crime Pearly lipsticks. As you lovely people know, this is about the product, not the people behind it. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy, okay? Thank you. Now, honestly, we have not had good luck with fake Lime Crimes on this channel. Just a couple weeks ago, I ended up burning my lips on what the fuck were they called? Diamond Crushers. Oh my God, that took me forever to think of. I'm turning into such an old woman. Where's my cat? Here she is. Anyway, I have had good luck with these bullet style lipsticks and I ordered them from two different companies because sometimes they're a little shady depending on where you get them. So we have both to test. Say hi. Oh my God. You're so long. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, anyway, let's get into swatching these little bitches. You guys know the song, are you ready? It's swatching time! <laughs> like usual with these lipsticks, the packaging is spot on, the wording is metallic, the background is matte, and it's seriously so pretty to look at. It even has a nice little label at the end, and on the back, all the distribution info, ingredients, everything is the same. And the tube, oh my goodness, this tube is divine. It's so fucking pretty. I literally want to keep these as decoration, even if they suck. Hmm. It kind of smells like ginger. And I don't mean Ed Sheeran, I mean like the shit you eat. All right, here we go with denim. Ah. Oh. 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 It tastes nasty. Like, if I bit into a Halloween mask, this is exactly what it would taste like. This is gross. This, my wonderful friends, is not a good look. We are definitely off to a bit of a bumpy start. So let's try a different one because this one is terrible. These do actually look really pretty. Like the lipstick itself is like, oh, pretty. But this one is supposed to be asphalt, yet it looks a lot more like Rosewell for some reason. So we'll try it. I don't know. Oh, I like this. Okay, now this shade I am seriously in love with. Like, it's definitely not like the real shade. The real one is more purple and this is more gray, but I still really fucking dig it. Mm-hmm, all right. Next up is Mirage. Here we go. Ugh. I just cannot get over the taste of this. Like, even once it's on and set, there's still, like, a lingering aftertaste. It's really gross. But this color, though, is popping. Like, between this and the last one, I am wet down there. Whew! And even though it does have that really pungent aftertaste, it's also super moisturizing. So the fact that it's moisturizing kind of balances out the fact that it tastes like a used condom. And I love that none of these have stained my lips so far. Typically, these fakes will leave a stain for, like, days. Next, we have Beetle, which I'm probably the most excited to try because I love brown lipsticks. Like, I am a addicted to them. So, here we go. Uh, huh. Okay, this actually is really pretty and somewhat close to the real, so that's a bit surprising. These are not like one swipe and you're good. You have to really put this on and let it melt into the skin before you actually start getting pigmentation, but once you do that, you're like set. Like, this is pretty, I would wear this. Here we are super close and way overexposed. Sorry about that, but the pigmentation on this is crazy good. I think the shade is super pretty. What do you think? Now I'm gonna go ahead and try the two from the other company that I got. So far, the only throwaway has been the blue one, so I'm really quite impressed, but this one is supposed to be at third eye. Here we go. This is equally as gross tasting as the other seller, but it's not as metallic as the other seller. Like this is more of a satin finish, whereas the other seller actually had legit metallicness to it. I know that's not a word, but you get what I mean. Maybe it was just this shade. We have one more to test and we will see. Last but certainly not least, we have Charmed, which does not look metallic, but it does look pretty close to the actual color. So here we go. And much to my surprise, this actually is pretty metallic. It's not as metallic as the real one, but there is still a bit of shimmer there. So I will keep this on for two hours. I'm gonna go have a little snack, have some coffee, and we'll see how this looks. Be right back. We are now a little bit past the two hour mark, and honestly, I was going into this ready to diss the longevity of this lipstick, but it still looks perfect. Like, it still looks this good after a cup of coffee, a glass of water, and some nachos. The fuck? Let's see if this darker one stained my lips. Maybe that's the reason it looks so good. No, my lips are not stained. This lipstick 
is amazing. Of course, we all know that I cannot recommend a fake because we really don't know what's in it, but damn, baby, these were some of the best fake lipsticks that we have ever tried on here, other than that fucked up blue one, but the rest of them were pretty damn good. The colors weren't exact dupes for the real, but they were still really pretty, and my lips do not burn at all. There's no itching or irritation or dryness whatsoever, but there you go. Don't forget, my newest single, Underwater, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting it. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video and what you'd like to see in future fake ass episodes. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.